What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome back to The Journey, where I'm building different squads we progress through divisional play, get involved in some tournaments, and as always, I'm dropping feedback on which players really live up to their true potential and other guys that, eh, they're a little bit of a disappointment. And before we get started, you guys need Ultimate Team Coins. Check out UT Coins for you. The links will be in the description, and make sure to use the code mikes 9 M-I-C-H-S-09, in order to get an additional 5% off on every single purchase. For today's video, we've got the cheap MLS sweat squad and it's brought to you via the viewers, via the subscribers, under 30,000 coins. We're keeping things on that affordable tip. And in the previous installment of the series, I asked everyone to link me a squad you want to see me use. How about some squad suggestions? I want to at least give you guys a direct involvement once a month, maybe even more often than that. We'll see how things go over. And a lot of people wanted MLS. I kept seeing squads repeatedly being linked that were MLS squads and then some open suggestions. So that's what we're doing. Going into Division 3, things are going to get wild. They're going to get crazy. I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Eto, Sturge, Willian, Walcutt. Woo! The sweat is very strong. And if we could smash 600 likes on this video, that would be amazing. We're stepping it up. You guys have showed so much amazing support. Let's keep it rolling. Tells me that you're enjoying the series. Keeps me energized. Keeps me geeked up. Yeah, we really should have had a goal to start this off. Something I've noticed in FIFA this year is once you get to about Division 5 and FUT, things start getting extremely sweaty as we get a beautiful weak foot finish there from Martin. He might as well not have a weak foot. Five star. It's perfect. He doesn't miss chances on his left. He doesn't miss chances on his right. And he's got the sweat. He beats that offside trap every day of the week. Uh, only issue, and something I've always been wondering about, is how old is this guy? Really, how old is this guy? I think he's one of those that has uh, a suspect birth certificate. Unfortunately, halftime talk did not go over well. He comes out, somehow Sturges uses his off foot to score an across-the-body finish. And it gives him the equalizer, and bam, that's the end of the game. First opponent was very heavy on the possession, and, and it, made things, it made things difficult to break down. And you can expect that as you get up there in divisions, either... Very attacking guys that abuse the game, or there's a lot of possession players. Another another good squad here, Neymar, Di Maria, Griezmann. And uh, I've got a great question for everyone today. What do you guys think is the largest difference between a bronze player and a silver player and a silver player and a gold player? It's something I've got a little bit of a theory, and I think it matters based on position. Obviously, defenders are different than wingers, and wingers are different than, than strikers. But let me know. Drop a comment. I want to see if we agree or we disagree, and uh, speaking about this squad, that defense that I was rocking, oof, there's some good, there's some bad, but uh, we've got lots to talk about, nice finish there by Martins, using that left foot, using and abusing, and my opponent, he's not in a good mood, he is not happy about that, rage quitting, but let's talk about this squad, we've got Julio Cesar in net, he's made a recent transfer into the MLS, and thankfully he's a gold goalie, ah, that's a, that's a big plus, if you're using silver or bronze goalkeepers, things can get very out of hand extremely quickly. Ebra, Royce, and, and Lucas, of course. Every squad seems to be primo, man. They're on that, that top level uh, in terms of the type of teams I'm going up against. And look at Henri starting out the game, right? Can we finish? Yes, he can. The legendary Thierry Henri. And I've used Corey Ash as a left back from my hometown club, the Houston Dynamo. He's a very stocky uh, left back. He's small, though. He's only about 5'6", five, 5'7". He's zoom speed, however, he's not a very good defender in real life, and the same carries over in terms of FIFA. He's out of position all the time, and the marking uh, in this squad is really bad on the defensive end. I think that the combo of bronze and silver just equals so much bad positioning and bad, bad marking, especially with these speedsters that aren't necessarily known for defending. Then we got Bezler and Jameson as center backs. Like both of them, I just don't know if they fit well when you put them with these outside defenders that are nowhere to be found. Because Wynn, the legend that he was last year, as Clive is starting to lead this comeback. He made a super sub, and oh my goodness, this legend. I couldn't stop him. He was in the right place. He was at the at the right place, right time combination. And I might use him in my stream on Monday. I got to give this guy more of a run through because he was just kicking my butt. I, I, I entirely just devoured this guy in the first half. I ate breakfast on him. I ate lunch. I ate dinner. I had a three-course meal, all of the above. And in the second half, he was like, he's a new player. He finished everything. He made his chance, and I was just frustrated. I was frustrated. This was almost a controller throw. And for you guys that have watched some of my live stuff or just talked to me a little bit, I'm not really an angry FIFA player. I try to keep very calm and keep my cool and stay collected. 
But back to the defense. Went on a little bit of a tangent. Going into match three, we had another draw. Or it's actually, I think this is match four. And I used Wynn as an outside back. Positioning's no good. He's been downgraded. He's a bronze, but he's got that zoom speed. CDM, we've got Alonzo. No real surprises there. You get what you get. It's kind of what you expect, as we concede in the fourth minute. Frustrated. Then I went with Zussi, and he's supposed to have amazing long shots. I've used him plenty before. I've had some... Had some wonderful performances, actually, but I didn't think that he was, I guess, on his A game in the in the matches I played with the squad. Thankfully, we get a quick equalizer. Then I went with Donovan, Landon Donovan, the American. Mm, love it, love it, love it, love it. He's done so much for uh, U.S. footy or U.S. soccer, uh, especially at the national team level, and we're working it. Look at Henri, and his skill move execution is just so fast. He's one of those players that's a joy to play with. And I love that he's so good in FIFA because even though he's aging, nobody wants to see Henri not succeed. He's just a very likable guy. Whether you've watched him in real life and you enjoy the way that he played, the things that he did at Arsenal, or even when he shifted to Barcelona, or even his personality. I like him on interviews. Everything about Henri, I, I, I definitely co-sign. Clint Dempsey is one of the more overpowered cams this year. He's good in the air. He moves really crisp. He can shoot from anywhere. And a lot of people don't know that. I don't see him used in enough squads. Look at this. 2-2. Two to two. I just can't keep a lead. I can't keep a lead. I can't shut people down. It's a frustrating thing. But look at Martins. A double body faint. We get it to the inside. Dempsey provides weak foot. It's not a weak foot. It's his money. It's his go-to. He drills it top corner. We're up 3-2. Three, three to two, 70 second minute. Let's get an instant replay. The facilitation. The gameplay. The buildup is all on point. And I've just been waiting for Henri to get his skill moves really going. We body faint to the inside. Perfect time for a Berber spin. And he is out of the picture. He's been eliminated. I just couldn't finish. I just couldn't finish. And then Martins for me was uh, incredible. I've played with him plenty. And this was the most, uh, or not maybe not the most, but this was the best performance I've probably had over a course of four or five games with one player uh, out of the MLS. Yeah, he goes as my marquee. And the, the pros with this squad, you've got good counter speed. You can finish. And a lot of set piece options. Henri as well as Dempsey do not let you down in the air. I scored four with Martins. I had an assist. Unfortunately, cons, the defensive positioning, terrible. And it's very inconsistent because you don't know where they're going to be. And then they're not good versus sweaty style. Like corner kicks, can't stop them. Uh, they don't do a good job on some of the, the lob through balls just because they're so far out of position. So you've got to be very careful with the defense, fellas. And you just don't have many options that are better. You can flip some people. you got Opara. Uh, you've got a couple others. But overall, the squad was fun to use. And uh, if you're going to change anything, you could adjust or make an adjustment up top if you wanted to bring in Eddie Johnson, if you want to spend a little bit more coinage. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's9USA, and I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.